Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is Hacking Unveiled. If you've been watching this video over the past few months, you may remember a few months ago when I talked about the big breach to the hacking team. This was a security company that did pen testing, but also created alleged malware for governments. They created stuff that helped governments spy on users and things like that, at least according to some of the allegations brought against them by these hackers. Anyways, a while back, hackers were able to breach their network and release all their email, which was very, very embarrassing for this particular security company. So over the past few days, the alleged members of Antisec that apparently pulled this hack off posted a pastebin post detailing this hack in a lot of technical detail. Now, before I talk about it, do realize when somebody posts something on Pastebin, it's really hard to validate it. You know, we don't know for sure that this is really anti-sec and this is how they pulled off the attack. That said, a number of media outlets have reported on this and checked it out, and I've read it, by the way, and it seems very legitimate. These guys know a lot about the hack. They know a lot about some of the internal systems, so it seems pretty legit. And finally, whether or not it's true, my practical takeaway here is you can actually learn from this document by reading it. So basically, the highlights of this document is it started by talking about how uh, Antisec did reconnaissance on the target. All the different techniques bad guys can use to learn about a target and eventually find the real IP addresses associated with the organization. They then fingerprinted what servers the hacking team had exposed publicly. And by the way, it appears the hacking team actually had pretty good external security. They didn't expose much to the public and in some of the things they exposed required strong authentication like client certificates. So it really was kind of a tough hack in that only some NAT and routing gear and VPN here was exposed to the public. This meant that Antisec, or the hackers behind this breach, had to actually find zero-day vulnerabilities. So they picked one of the unnamed uh, devices, the network devices, and they actually found a previously undisclosed vulnerability in this device. Now they don't name the vulnerability or the device because it remains unpatched and of course being malicious attackers they want to hold on to it for future use. They also wrote backdoor firmware for this particular uh, Internet of Things uh, networking device. And that, by the way, was one of my predictions for 2016. For Internet of Things hacks, expect bad guys to start creating more Trojan or backdoor firmware. Now, once they got this point on the network, which had access to the internal network, they started doing lateral movement, scanning for other servers. And over time, they learned about a MongoDB database server, which they gained access to. They were able to start to get some Windows credentials and eventually got the domain administrative credentials for this network. And of course, once you have domain credentials, you can actually use things like PowerShell to do almost anything you want on a Windows network. So that's really the high level idea of how they attack the network, but they go into a lot of technical detail in their pace bin post. So what's the takeaway here? It's not to gossip about the hacking team hack. Rather, I think this is a great learning experience. Whether or not this document is 100% true, it really does outline a very good network attack. So if you're an IT administrator that deals with security or a security professional, I think this is a fantastic thing to read because as you understand some of these sophisticated techniques attackers can use, things like zero day that are not going to have uh, signatures for, things like using PowerShell, which is a legitimate program that IT folks use to kind of stay under the radar, it should give you a better idea of how to organize your defenses. One of the big takeaways here is you got to realize we need to create our internal networks as though they're already breached. You can have great perimeter and endpoint security, but eventually someone is going to get something in, whether that's just a user clicking something they shouldn't or walking an infection into your network. So you need to design your internal security to make it harder for bad guys to laterally move. And one of the best ways to do that is to segment your network using products like WatchGuard's Firebox. In any case, takeaway is I recommend you read the document. It will teach you about attacks, which in turn will teach you about defense. By the way, before I end this video, do know I'm going to be attending a conference for the rest of this week, so I may not be able to do videos every day. And if I do, they'll be on the road videos. But I try to get at least one or two more by the end of the week. Anyways, that's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.